All right, this tutorial is about setting up your Google Analytics. And right here is the plugin that we're going to be using, Google Analytics Dashboard for WP or GADWP. Uh, we're in the Plugins panel, and, but as soon as you have this installed, down here, this will appear. And we're going to click on here, and we're taken to the Google Analytics setting. And you have this ominous warning that says, you should watch the video and read the tutorial before proceeding to authorization. This plugin requires a properly configured Google Analytics account, exclamation uh, mark. Which is true, you know, it, it, you do need to set it up right, but it's actually pretty easy. Before, though, you can do this authorization here, you actually have to create a Google Analytics account. And so we're going to open up a new tab. We're going to go to google.com forward slash analytics. And we're going to be taken to this page. Now, I'm already signed into my Google account. If you do not have a Gmail account or YouTube or any of that, uh, you do need to create one in order to have Google Analytics. And when you go to Google Analytics, you need to be signed into at least your Gmail account. Uh, that's the easiest way of doing it. So I am signed in, and so I'm going to go click on this right here. And you've got a lot of options here, and that's for a much more advanced course. So we're just going to focus on analytics. And then here we're showing the process of what it takes to set up your analytics. Sign up for Google Analytics, add tracking code, learn about your audience. So we're going to sign up, and here you're given two options. You can either track a website or a mobile app, and we're obviously tracking a website. And then they ask for your account name, and this is really anything. So with my own analytics, I have a business account, I have a personal account. So you can set it up any way you want, and I will say uh, SMB. Uh, creation account and then here the website name now the website name is not to be confused with the website URL it's whatever your the name of your site is uh, for mine we will call it brother Wilson's demo site and then this is your URL so we'll go over to our site and the URL is just this right here. So byuh.jdevcloud.com. I will copy that. I'll go back and I'll put that in. And I will remove this because this is already here. And then your industry category, you can go through and find what industry you're in. This is just for Google to, uh, for their data and trends. I'm going to put in other. And then you got a bunch of data sharing settings. Really the only one I care about that I uncheck is the account specialist because basically you're giving permission to Google to upsell you, which I don't want to do. So here I'm going to click on get tracking ID and then we'll get the service agreement and I will say I accept. And now you have your Google Analytics set up. But Rarely you'll come here. I mean, if you really start learning about analytics, you can. What matters and what a lot of plugins ask for is this number here, uh, this code here, I should say. Uh, but we really we don't even need that. We just need this to be set up and for the plugin that uh, the Google Analytics plugin, GADWP, to see that our site is here. So we're going to go back to the website and now we're going to click on authorize plugin. And once we do that it says use this link to get your one-time use access code. So we'll click on that and we'll click on the Google account you're using. You'll say allow and this is the code that you want. So we will copy that and then we will go back here and we will hit paste. Now we can say save access code and you can see right here is that number that I was talking about. 
So now the plugin can see the number and it can put it on all your pages and you can track your analytics.